Good morning, friends, and happy Monday. Hope you survived the snow and the ice. Praise God, the sun is coming out here at St. Raymond's. Today, the church throughout the world remembers the beautiful life of St. Josephine Bikita. Uh, she's this beautiful woman uh, behind me in the mural who's situated behind Mother Lang and Our Lady of Cabejo, wearing the brown habit of the Canetian sisters. Josephine was born in Sudan, in Darfur, um, and sadly, at the age of seven or eight, was, was kidnapped by Arab slave traders. It began an ordeal of probably 25 years of her life in which she was enslaved and treated horribly. Uh, she carried the scars, she carried the wounds, the physical wounds of abuse and beatings and neglect uh, throughout her entire life. Eventually, praise God, uh, through the providence of God, she was uh, purchased, I hate saying that word, but she was purchased by an Italian family. And she was a nanny for their child and eventually left with their child at a uh, girl's school run by the nuns that she would eventually join, the Canetian sisters. It was there that she realized through the goodness of the religious women who helped uh, her uh, that uh, slavery had actually been illegal all the way back when she had been kidnapped. And certainly slavery was illegal in Italy. And therefore the case went all the way to the Italian Supreme Court and she was declared free, what she already knew in her heart and which God had already spoken. She was baptized and received First Communion Confirmation. That was when she took the name uh, Josephine, Josephine Margaret. Uh, and that happened at the hands of uh, Pope, eventually Pope Pius X. He was the Archbishop of that diocese at that point. And she would spend the, the, the number of years, uh, more than 30 years, as a religious sister, working at girls' schools, giving testimony and witness to what God had done in her life. That certainly the first chapters of her life were horribly painful, horribly uh, difficult. And, and yet, through the grace of God, the later chapters were beautiful. They were freeing, they were redeemed. Friends, it's the same with us. You know, certain chapters of our life aren't pretty, but Christ steps in and does something new. Josephine is a saint because of her relationship with God, because of what she allowed God to do in her life. She allowed the cross of Christ to bring her to victory. God wants to do that for you. I invite you today to imitate Josephine and hold some difficult memory of your past. Maybe some experience of abuse or neglect or people lying about you or treating you horribly, gossiping about you. Bring that before the Lord. Let him bring healing so that he can use it the way he used her stories to be a blessing for others. And through the intercession of our beautiful Josephine Bikita, may God bless you and your family today. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen.